Hey everyone, Rogers here. Today we're checking out Shadowline. I've heard a lot of good things about the game. I'm going to be jumping in just to give my honest opinion on how well the game looks and plays in terms of trailer looks, impressions, is it easily adaptable to new players, what's the mechanics like, game specifics, classes, any operatives, gameplay modes, weekly, daily events, weapon designs, how they sound and feel, any tiers. All right, and last but not least, the story. The one issue I see in the community lately is too many content creators just show the positive side of the game. There's no negatives. They do this to open their foot into the door, maybe it's just to get praise, a free game, look I have no fucking idea. Instead, I would much rather give the community a brutally honest feedback, which I know devs and many others would much more appreciate. Now just to be clear, I'm not going to go one sided into this, I'm going to be incredibly fucking neutral, um, other than hearing from a member of my community, hey, you should try this out, uh, we've played it, blah 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 blah, we want to hear your opinion. Without further ado, let's get into it. I'm watching the trailer alongside you guys right now. It looks good. It's a trailer, okay? It definitely hits the mark. I mean, in terms of eye candy and graphical aesthetic, it, it, it's good, all right? It, at the end of the day, it's nothing special, though. We've all seen trailers from hundreds of different games over the years. Some of them do represent the game in entirety, but some of them don't, okay? The gameplay gets changed later down the track, closer to release, and things change. That's what it is. It's a good marketing stunt. It's marketing hype. That's what it is. Moving on. Is it easy for new players to pick up? The answer is, yeah. It's about as simple as any other game. I found myself changing things like crouch, melee attack, specials, grenades. I mean, it's simple stuff. They throw you in a bit of a tutorial kind of gameplay. You go through it, you get to see what the skills are about. So far, I've got nothing bad to say about it. It's a little bit of fun. It's kind of intriguing. It's a little bit different to what we're mostly used to. So I guess we'll see how it goes. We've got eight characters here. We got Mongoose, who looks to be like it's sort of a DPS role. Malva, who's support. Uh, we got Strix here, who's an EXO uh, utility, I guess. Kite, Recon, Brissa, Recon, uh, Pill, support. Orbit, Trooper, which I'm guessing is sort of a DPS role. Uh, Ram, EXO, which may be utility tank. Uh, I'm not too sure yet. All right. Again, this is uh, my understanding of just jumping straight into the game. I have no fucking idea. I'm not doing in-depth reviews, guys. Just remember that. This is more just first impressions. What is going on? Is it worth jumping into in the first place? All right. But so far, these characters have utility to them. There's, you've got tanks, guys that can heal, people that can scout. We've got snipers. Honestly, shotguns. It's looking to be a decent little game. Uh, not bad. Not bad. Now they do give you a training facility to practice in, which I think is absolutely amazing. They allow you to change your guns on the fly, change your characters on the fly. It's pretty good, I gotta admit. Um, now, the movement feels a little bit clunky. That's, that's, that's honestly something I have to say. You compare it to Counter-Strike or Apex, for example, it just doesn't feel uh, that. It, it, it just feels like it, it, there's something missing. All right, that's all I'll say. I'm really keen to see more updates and what they're able to do with it. But as far as I'm concerned, the scopes feel good. Um, on a lot of games, the there's, there's, there's scopes feel wrong, okay? Uh, they, they feel good, they feel good. The crosshairs are nice, small, um, they, they don't fill up the fill up the actual screen you're looking through. So far, so good. As it seems, they have five little PvP modes, Conquest, Escort, Barricade, Demolition, Team Deathmatch, pretty simple stuff, all right? Um, I went in and checked out the expedition mode, what it's all about, watched the little trailer. Yeah, I'm going to be giving it a try very soon, but as far as it goes for first impressions and what it looks like, it looks to be a decent game. Expedition is a PvP game mode where players in teams of four take on collection of strafers and complete objectives along the way. There are four stages in this game mode, with the last stage leading to a big boss fight. For players that finish this mode, a new boss will arrive on the last stage in any replay. Alright, sounds cool. Now I got a chance to try some of the game modes. Uh, I tried this one pretty much where you start off building, I guess, blue blocks to block the enemy and then you fight them, right? Uh, I lasted a whole of about 30 seconds on it. I thought it was honestly the most boring shit I've played. Um, yeah, I don't see people really playing this too much compared to like Search and Destroy or just a team deathmatch in my opinion. Again, I might be wrong, but that's just how I feel about it. I also got a chance to play the expedition mode. Uh, quite frankly, uh, I, honestly, I, I hate to say it, I'm not that impressed. Uh, three of you go off, but you do, you gotta find four search and destroy packages throughout. You can upgrade your guns, basically, uh, and get different perks. Um, the only thing I thought was cool was the automatic turret, but then again, uh, it just, it just felt very repetitive, quite frankly. And the enemies, yeah, there's something just not right about how the rounds hit the enemies. 
it just feels wrong. As far as it goes with weapons, I've got this little thing that I didn't like about it. There's this weird thing when you jump. You, you, it's like you've got this gravity about you, right? I get it, but it just doesn't feel right. It, it just doesn't. I think if you were to speed that up, it would make the movement feel just a lot more fluid. I don't like the way that the recoil feels. They need to just add straight up more recoil. As far as the guns go on looks, they all look beautiful. Uh, there's a lot of guns in here that just look cool. Uh, yeah, they're all similar designs. I mean, guns are guns. They're all based off the same shit, so you're not going to get that much crazy, new, amazing stuff, all right? Uh, it looks good. Uh, not bad. When it's lined up to some of the best titles we have at the moment, does it feel mechanically sound? Well, it's in beta. This is easily subject to change, and quite frankly, hopefully it is. Overall, I think if the devs are really transparent with their community, just like any game, and actually listen to some of the issues they have, by the time the release comes around, I think it'll stick up to be a good game. If they do the same shit that all developers keep doing, well, it'll just pretty much ride out to be nothing, as uh, every other game has been. Alright guys, thank you very much for watching. That's my quick two little cents, and uh, yeah, I'll be doing another video tomorrow. Fuck.